Greetings gentlemen and ladies, I am the old school game snob and in today's video I am going to uh, show you a fix for this thing that's just been basically haunting me for the last two days. Uh, so I have this in slow motion. Have a look at what's going on with my model. You see that little twitch? If you're at this watching this video, you may be getting a weird little twitch on your retargeted animations. Um, and, and yeah, I've just been trying absolutely everything to try to figure this out, and I finally figured it out. Uh, here's what you need to do, all right? So initially what I was reading was a lot of people were saying, okay, check your bone hierarchy, you know, check your, or check your animations, what's animation, what's, what's skeleton, all that sort of stuff. And uh, you probably want to make sure to do that too. We'll cover that really quickly just so you guys can make sure you're... Oh, never mind. Never mind about what's going on. You didn't see anything. That's all fine. Um, do -do 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 -do. Let's cover really quickly here the skeleton setup just because, just because, just because we want to make sure that's uh, okay. Uh, that's probably not what your problem is, but we just want to make sure that's okay. So what I've been told and what I understand is that the uh, if you go into your skeletal hierarchy or your skeleton itself, same, same, uh, I'm pretty sure they both just affect the skeleton. You want to set your root and your hip or your root and your pelvis whatever your top two bones are, I, I think basically to the animation type. And you want to set everything else below that to uh, skeleton. Uh, that's what I said. <laughs> and now I see a whole bunch of these are, oh, what? Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I don't even know why this is working. Um, well, I guess it's working. Okay, so yeah, for me, this wasn't really the issue. Or maybe it was, because look at all those things that I thought were set to something else. Pelvis set Oh, I remember. I was just experimenting. That's what was going on. Animation scaled. Animation. So basically what you want to do is this. Animation, animation scaled. Um, but again, like I said, I don't, just don't even know if this necessarily matters that much. So you just want to recursively set to anything below to skeleton. Recursively set below to skeleton. That's not much for recursively. Uh, this is the worst instructional video ever. That's fine. That's fine. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just going to recursively set everything below there to skeleton. Okay, so I got skeleton, skeleton, great, great. And I got animation for the top one. <laughs> wonder if that's going to break anything. I don't think so. I guess we'll find out. I don't think that's what it was, though. Anyway. So, um, you're doing your IK retargeting, you notice a jitter, that's the point of this video. And again, uh, one of the things I was told to check is to make sure the root and the hip are basically, the, your top two bones are set to animation, everything else below is set to skeleton, that's what I was told to do. Okay, so I set it like that. I don't know if that's the thing or not, that makes a big difference. Um, let me see where we're at here, we still got that jitter? Yeah, still got that jitter. So that didn't do anything for me. I kept doing those things, and, and it's kind of probably useful for you guys to see that because you might be trying the same thing, right? It doesn't seem to affect my jitter. All right, so here's uh, basically the other thing I said that I was reading. is like, okay, so line up your bones. So all right, so I lined up my bones as best I could. By the way, guys, if you're just getting into this, you can scale your model. Uh, you can also adjust the bone size right here. That's helpful, so it's a little bit more manageable. Also... Um, your actor offset, blah, blah, blah. So I was just like putting my actor really close by so I could do my very best to line up the the bones with sort of what I saw there. I was like, okay, that's got a bit of a tilt, that's got a bit of a tilt, that kind of tilts down a bit, etc., etc. And I, you know, came up with what I thought was like a really close match, but it just like screwed up, made it even worse, basically. So what I eventually found is that matching things up perfectly doesn't really matter. I think the the explanation lies in looking at what's going wrong. So in my case, everything seemed fine, uh, except that little jitter in the arm, in the left arm in particular. That really screwed me up. But yeah, and so I decided just to do a little bit at a time. And so what I did is I grabbed the forearm and I rotated it just five degrees forward, and I tested that out. And then and then I thought that looked a little bit better, so I rotated it just five degrees more. And it turned out that just the tiniest little adjustment is what made all the difference. So, yeah, you guys should be able to see see how, uh, how much smoother that is. Is it pretty close to perfect? Yeah, pretty close. 
It doesn't have that jitter anymore, right? And all I did was make a tiny little tweak. So the point of this video, guys, is, is if you're noticing weird little jitters, start by making, start by looking to the area that's affected. Uh, and again, you might be doing humanoid, you might be doing, you know, creature, monster, I don't know, but I think the same thing would be would apply. Look to the area that's affected, uh, and then make just like a 5% tweak, right? Just a 5% rotation, maybe forward, backward, I'm not really sure, you're going to have to kind of test it, and then do your test, right? Just do that tiny little tweak, and see if you can find, uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, like, like what I'm saying is basically, um, uh, don't go too fancy off the bat just a time it it's probably just a tiny little thing that's causing your whole problem like it was for me if you're just getting like a tiny little uh, tiny little jitter oh there's my jitter there's my jitters back did i rotate back i don't remember what i did now i might have shit i don't know what i did uh yeah you know what here you know what here's 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 a Here's another trick I learned. I'm going to just take it from the top here. Here's another trick that I learned while I'm at it. So if you're going to set up your post to start, uh, if this if you, this is new to you, and my last video I was trying to show you guys how to select all of the things. Here's how I finally found to select all of the things and rotate all the things. So first I select the main body, rotate that 90 degrees. And then I come back and I look for the little IK parts. Uh, so basically we have this part here which is connected to that part, so I can rotate that 90, those two 90 degrees on their own. Uh, and then I'm going to want to rotate that center bone also. Do I? Yeah, rotate that center bone 90 degrees on its own, even though it doesn't seem like it does anything. I think it's important. Uh, after that, there is this, these little two bones right down here, which I'm going to rotate 90 degrees on their own. Uh, and then I guess the last two are these little balls which, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what those do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, what everything needs to be rotated, but that's kind of the sequence that I, I found. So I wrote, I'm just going to rotate everything 90. Right. So that's kind of the sequence that I found. So now I should have my major jitter. Yeah, there's my major jitters back. And I might, might need a tiny bit more tweaking if I still have a bit of a jitter. Yeah, that's a, so I got my major jitter back, which is good because it knows I'm, I know I'm kind of on the right track to fixing. And last time it was 10 degrees forward there, and 10 10 degrees forward there, and now we should be almost no jitter. Yeah, that's much better. Oh, still a bit of jitter, but definitely better. I mean, maybe another five degrees forward would be good, right? And that's kind of the thing. That's kind of the thing. It seems like tiny little adjustments and it might not even be the forearm it might be something else right oh, still got a jitter okay so that rotation basically did nothing <clears throat> so maybe maybe i rotate uh maybe i rotate that mm, still got a bit of a jitter well i can tell you what before i made these tiny little tweaks when i when i uh, went and i put the model into the world the arm actually folded in backwards behind, behind behind the body, so it was like really screwed up. Now it's basically functional. Uh, I have that little jitter there, but it's basically functional. So I'm just going to do a quick little export here and uh, see how we look in the world. You know, there's a tiny jitter, but I can probably accept a tiny jitter uh, if 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 the entire you know model wasn't isn't folding in backwards on itself that's a that's a good thing oops i got the boobs that's fine we'll turn her around actually no we got to see what her arm is doing that's what we got to do all right let's hop in and i'm just going to slow that down to one percent yeah or ten percent rather and you can yeah i mean that's pretty good right the jitter's basically gone in the live version and the arm, like I say, uh, and you guys might be noticing this, that too with your model, is that uh, uh, some of the body parts are just going entirely behind your body or whatever, right? And that's the case for mine. So like before I did that retargeting, the arm was appearing behind the body, and that's no good. So, yep, that's why. <laughs> See you guys later. 